Hello guys, Prince Valo Mahlangu here. In today's video, I want to show you an incredible dish that is cooked in Zimbabwe, that is commonly consumed in Zimbabwe and the rest of Africa. So this dish is called ingina, or among ingina becomes the plural. So in today's video, I'm going to show you five interesting ways to serve this dish. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, we got this beautiful cow's foot from a local butcher here in Bulawayo. So the first step or the utensils that you need for this, you need the plank, you need a sharp knife, you need a medium sized pot or even a large pot and you need salt. So we're going to boil this for close to four hours on high heat. Okay. So the first step you need to take, so these have been prepared already, but I think I'll do another video to show you how to prepare the process of preparing amangina. But fortunately, in other butcheries, you can just buy the amangina that's already prepared. So we're going to cut them, the cut the amangina into small pieces there. So here we've got six pieces that we're going to add to our pot. Yeah, big, big, big pieces. So you're going to add these to your pot. Okay, let me just cut this one. Okay. So remember, we're going to cook this on high heat for four hours. Until the marinas are well done. Okay, so four hours to prepare, four hours to cook. Okay, let's check. This is four hours later. Oh yeah, this looks nice. This is well done. Okay, so remember, you need to cook, but the marina still needs to hold the shape of the bowner. Please do not overcook. Okay, let's start serving this beauty here. I'm going to start off with the first option, which is the common option that's consumed. So this option is this chawala with any leafy uh, vegetable. Here I'm going to use spinach. I love spinach. So I'm going to take, okay, let's just take one big piece here. So that's the first option, is chawala, spinach, and ingina. Okay, let's look at the second option. The second option is amangina with amangkobelewan. So remember, if you want to know how to cook amangkobelewan, I did a video, I'll just leave the link above, where I did amangkobelewan and I gave four options on how to spice this delicacy. Yeah. So find the link uh, above or in the comment section below. So the second one, we're going to have a combination of amangina with amangkobelewan. So this is, Let's say you don't like the common option of this trial. You can always take this dish uh, a step further. So we take one piece here. Then just a small, 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 small. Okay. But the nice part about this option is in the soup. I know so many people love the soup, <laughs> drinking the soup. So what you can do, you can add in the soup by the side there. So take the soup, just serve there on the side. And then just turn it around. Okay. So this is the second option. Inglina with amakabili one and the soup by the side. Okay, for the amakabili one for presentation also, you can just add in these rosemary there. Add some color there. Okay, let's look at the third option. Third option, we're going to borrow a dish from South Africa. This dish is called uput, but we also do prepare this here in Zimbabwe. Here we call it umpogo, but also in South Africa, also the other terms. I think in the Kosas call this umpogo. So we're going to have amangina with umpogo by the side. Huh? Then we're also going to have a topping of lemon and herb sauce. Okay, let's start off dishing with, let's start off dishing the putu. Okay, so I'll leave the ingredients for put. Let's choose one piece here. I could eat this whole 
dish here. So you can see I haven't put any uh, tomatoes uh, or carrots, it's just natural. So natural nguina, just like it's prepared. Okay. So that's the uputu by the side, and we have the nguina there. Like I said, you can top this with any sauce of your choice. I've chosen lemon and herb. Uh, so lemon and herb, just place it somewhere. That's the third option. Amangoina with uputu or mpogoko with a topping of lemon and herb. Okay, let's look at the fourth option now. Uh, the fourth option is <laughs> it's a new option that I've, I'm experimenting but I've been trying for quite some time also. These are groundnuts. So we're going to serve the amangoina with the groundnuts and going to put a topping of lemon. Then we're going to have chopped tomatoes here. And we're going to garnish with a rosemary leaf. Then. Also, we're going to add in some spices. This, these are homegrown spices. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to purchase uh, these homegrown spices and support me. So I'm going to use four uh, herbs. There's basil, majoram, there's rosemary and fennel, all combined here. Okay, so let's start off with the onions there. there. Okay, then our herbs. Okay, so then the rosemary leaf on top there. Okay, let me look for a juice one. Okay, there is this one. It's nice, huh? So there by the side. It ends there. Okay, let me know by trying. So, but fortunately we know we've got a protein content there. Okay, so that's the fourth option. This, although as biased as I am, this is my favorite option. So it's a combination of ground nuts with herbs, chopped onion, chopped tomato, and your amangina by the side. Okay, let's look at the fifth option, the last option. So this option, we're going to have some fried uh, mixed veggies here. And we'll just have uh, a side sauce of mayonnaise by the side. So let's start off dishing the amangina. So we're going to have these two by the side. Then let's add in our mixed veggies. So our mixed veggies, we've got bro broccoli, we've got carrots, then we've got butternut here. So I'll just show you, I'll just tell you how I prepared uh, these extras here. So let's take broccoli there. Okay, let's put another one in there. Shift this to the side. Okay, let's take some carrots there. Okay, I think if we just place about four. Okay, let's put this by the side. Okay, let's place about four. Okay, let's take the butternut here next to the mayonnaise. If you're a vegetable lover like me, this you will enjoy. And the car. Okay, uh, some space here. Let's just add in some more carrots. There. Okay, yeah, so that's the last option. You can use any sauce, but I've opted for mayonnaise. Okay, so this is manguina with mixed veggies. So you can see the butternut, you can see the carrots there. Then the mayonnaise, then we've got our broccoli there. I love this. Then your two, these beauties here. Okay, so those are the five options. Remember, we said the first option is the common option, strala with the mangina. The second option, we looked at amakabelewa. Remember the video that I did on amakabelewa? The third option was amangina with the putu with a lemon and herb sauce. The fourth one was the groundnuts. In room, with a topping of chopped uh, onions, chopped tomatoes, some mixed herbs. Then we had a topping of rosemary there, with the nguina by the side. Then the last option, 
this beauty here was a combination of mixed veggies. So those are the five options of preparing and serving a mangoin. So please tell me in the comment section which of these five you personally love. So I personally love option four and option five. Although I understand option one is the common use, I've been eating this for quite some time now. I know my friend loves option two with the macabre So this is Prince Silvano Mashang. Please follow me on social media, any of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and on Pinterest. The username is at Prince Silvano Mashang. Till next time. Cheers.